Oh, well, to Rick's gets. Well, as it's uh, Halloween, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. To be in Halloween at the end of this month, I thought I would do a witch. Um, this is a. Let me take it off. This is a 3D printed. Um, resin witch uh, you can't see it very well unfortunately um, my camera doesn't pick it up very well but I can assure you she comes in two varieties this variety has her clothes on and in the other variety she's completely nude um, so unfortunately we can't do that one for YouTube because it would end up getting taken down because all the necessary bits are there and are clearly visible so uh, we can't do that one um, so what, should, what can we see there we go, so what can we see here uh, she has a lantern at the end of her broom um, she's got a very nice like, corset on a pair of uh, thigh length boots some high heel shoes um, she has a spell book and potion which is attached to a belt or lack of belt I say I think it's a strap to her leg somewhat she has suspenders like all witches do um, so you can assume that this witch is actually a sexy witch which I'm sure some of them are um, a little bit of fur around her boots uh, fur, around her, fur around her wristlets there she has the usual witch's style hat big bushy hair uh, down this side we have some um, something rolled up I believe it might be uh, parchment or something I'm not quite sure so yes that is a little bit of bare buttocks there um, so um, the normal broom conveniently placed and a bit of um, clothing coming off the back to keep her butt cheeks warm um, her base as is considered we have some candles and we have a couple of I think they're supposed to be pumpkins uh, they do look a bit like pumpkins and then we have this sort of smoke trail from where she's taken off um, and I think that's like a sort of dirt floor area so that's the kit that we're going to be doing in this uh, video and it's all going to be hand painted acrylics now with most of my acrylic uh, painting of this type of stuff um, I tend to use the Citadel range of paints which is from um, it's the okay what's the name called games workshop and also model color which is Vallejo acrylics um, on occasion I have been known to use uh, Tamiya but that's very few and f far between dependent on the colour um, I also use Endin if I don't have the colour or not um, Army Painter range of acrylic colours um, so how are we going to paint her up well I've got one of two thoughts on that um, the first thought is you're going to have your, your usual pumpkin colour which is the the orange colour um, candles are either going to be a white candle or they're going to be a green candle I haven't quite made my mind up 
as for her outfit, I think we will go for um, a. I thought about doing a green coloured witch, but then I thought, no, this woman, this one's quite hot, so we're going to do a normal flesh tone. Um, her outfit, this um, thigh length boots and basque type thing she's got going on um, is going to be one of two options um, maybe purple for the thigh for the boots um, or thigh length don't know or maybe black with red um, so hat, classic witch hat, black, uh, potentially with a red band, maybe. So that's look, what we're looking either black and red or purple with your normal black hat. And I'm not going to go for blonde hair. I'm going to go for either redhead or green. And after all, she's a witch. So, yeah. Um, book and potion. Potion bottle probably contains some sort of poison. So, we'll probably paint that in blue with uh, a sort of darkish red. Uh, spell book underneath and maybe see I'm not sure if that is parchment or not but potentially it looks like it may be so that's going to be um, a linen sort of colour yeah I'm thinking on that one so pumpkins are going to be orange as normal now the wispy smoke well, that one was a little bit perplexing. I could have that as a a bluey white, or a greeny white, or an orangey white. Now you may be wondering what scale this is. Well, clearly it's not big scale because, as you see, it's my hands or quite in the way, um, I would say in reality uh, this is something I was attempting to do a little bit earlier in, in judging by obviously the guy sitting down it's around about 135, 130 seconds ago um, so like a game in peace. That by the way is a set of um British soldiers for Brengar Brengun carrier. Which I still have yet to do anything about. Over there out the way. Crikey, I had my head in there then. Um so yeah they they it's it's gaming size. Um so in comparison to other like, figures that I do, this this is a like I know one twenty fourth size uh, figure. That's a Viking lady, but this is that size, so we all know who that person is. Still needs a lot of finishing on that one. Um, and this is another bus size of uh, something that's in progress. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. So once I get some paint on her, I'll uh, bring you back and let you see how far we've got. So as you can see, we have what we call a first base coat down on all the fleshy areas uh, hands, face, thighs important chest area and 
get it into focus, maybe, maybe not on her buttocks. Um, this is only the first base. What I will do, I'm going to focus back in again. No, obviously it's not going to focus back in. Um, I'm going to let that dry out for a It shouldn't take too long because that's thin, very thin paint. Um, goes down and do a, probably do another layer of it um, to build up the paint. And that's your base coat, which is quite dark. Uh, your next layer after that, I like to cheat, and that is to stick a flesh shade um, over the top, which will be a flesh tone. Um, I'm not sure if I've got it available here or whether I've put it away, so I think I might have put it away, so I might need to get it back out again. It's putting a base coat down, putting a shade down, and then doing the highlights from that up. And then that's how we get our figure. So, hang tight, and we'll... I'll crack on, and we'll get to the next stage, hopefully. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure if you're getting that or not. Um, but that has been overcoated with the flesh tone I was talking about. And as you can see, it goes in controlled into the areas that you want. So that's going to need it's a little bit glossy, unfortunately, but that's the way cookie grumbles, or so they say. Uh, the next stage after that is to highlight areas that appear to be highlighted to base coating uh, basically the rest of the model and then we can do the same technique as to what is going on flesh tone over the rest of the body uh, rest of the figure sorry not the rest of the body okay here we are back uh 20 hours later and we've got all the basic colours down for this figure before we start going into all the detail stuff. So she's fully. Good God, we can't get this. Focus. There we go. So that's all the primary basic colours for this model. I have started on the flesh. Um, so she's got red boots, black um, thigh length, suspended part, uh, she's been purple, she's got green hair, black and red on the top, a little bit about focus going on again, it's nothing unusual, well we'll skip to the other part, um, <laughs> then we've got uh, the pumpkins ready for their colouring, bit of paint the candles, base textures down for the dirt, and then we've got this airbrushed uh, green for a takeoff smoke. Um, fun little kit. I say fun little kit, fun little 3D print. Like I said, the other one was a bit too um, raunchy for uh, YouTube. I'd end up taking it down because it showed more than what it should really show. And that's the price you pay when you get two files down. I think this was only about £3 to download. Uh, and I think I got it off of my mini factory about just over a year ago, a year and a half ago. Uh, I thought it would be fun to put together because it was, you know, Halloween's coming up and I know you Americans love your uh, pumpkins so that inspired me to put this one out. Right, so I'll get back to you when I start putting some um, colouring, not colouring, shading and stuff into this and then highlighting 
should not be more than another 10 hours painting for me uh, and the result should be pretty pretty nice even if I say so myself see you in a bit well here she is, here's my little witch in all her glory a couple of pumpkins down there, some candles green hair purple Basque, a bit of red boots, a brimstone, we've got a lantern, I think I've already said green hair, see them pumpkins, the pumpkin should I say, she's got her, uh, I think it's rolled up piece of parchment, Around this side she's got her spell book and her little glass bottle of generally over here in those sort of times a blue bottle is generally poison um, a broomstick's done got the leather around the bottom there um, all the flesh tones are done. I uh, can't quite get to her eyes, unfortunately. Um, all the shadings in. Fun little 3D print, I'm sure you would agree. Uh, and that's the, that's my little Halloween build, so to speak. Uh, yeah, happy Halloween, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little bit of a fun build. Thanks for watching. Happy modeling.